Tonight, the search continues in Marin County for a fisherman swept out to sea. And like I was trying to pull him down, but he was pulling me down too as well. And the waves were like insanely big. I had to save myself, you know, so I let him go. The man's cousin says he tried to save him, but the waves were just too strong to pull him to safety. Good evening. I'm Julie Hayner and I'm Heather Holmes. Authorities say the three cousins were fishing when a wave swept one of them into the water this afternoon. It happened near the Mere Beach Overlook. Two of the men were rescued, but they still have not located the third. Live coverage now from KTV's Jana Katsuyama. She's at the Coast Guard's Golden Gate Station there in Marin. Jana. And Heather, the Coast Guard tells me tonight that they plan to have a patrol group boot boat basically out in that area all night circling where that man was last seen. His cousin tells me his name is Jose Padilla. He's in his late 20s and he has a fiance. The family was out there tonight as the search continued, uh, but they were had to leave late in the night when most of the helicopters and the large boats had to leave the area because it got too dark. But they said that they are just hoping that uh, they, they find Jose. Um, and certainly this was a very tragic way to end what started off as a day of fishing. A CHP helicopter took off from Muir Beach Outlook, flying down to the shoreline where three men had been fishing. Marlene Padilla says he and his two cousins had been there since 11.30 a.m. And after an hour and a half, they decided to move to another spot. His cousin Jose was on a rock when he was hit by a sudden wave. The waves just grabbed him and just swallowed him down. He was just asking, you know, like, help me, help me, help me, and all that. And I just took all my clothes off and jumped to the water. And I grabbed him, but he was about like 12 feet away from our water. So I had to swim a little bit to like go to the nearest rock. And then at that moment, it was just like he was already going down. And Padilla says he couldn't keep hold of his cousin. Waves were like insanely big and they were just like pulling me down as well. And I was just swallowing a lot of water. By chance, the Mirror Beach fire chief was walking at the outlook and saw the men. I saw one guy on the rock, one guy in the water mm -hmm. trying to help the other guy out and them yelling and screaming. The chief called for an emergency response around 1.20 p.m. and within 15 minutes, rescue crews were on the scene. We had a jet ski coming from Stinson Beach, mm -hmm. two jet skis come from um, Sausalito, um, a sheriff's boat, a Coast Guard boat. A helicopter rescued Marlene and his other cousin. For more than four hours, crews searched in the water and along the shoreline. Jose's fiance and family members arrived watching with nearby residents. Yeah, I saw three two-person teams of um, look like divers in kind of motorized kayak, something like that, rescue boats. Then say it was low tide, but the area is desolate and the waves can rise suddenly. The tide came in quickly and, and probably the water level came up and the waves started getting higher and higher and, and it probably took them off guard. Marlene says that the family is from Honduras and they were very experienced recreational fishermen. They had been there for the first time, though, just today. The Coast Guard says that as soon as dawn breaks, they do plan to have the helicopters and the other boats out there to continue their search. Heather. All right, Jana Katsuyama reporting live for us there. Marin, thank you.